Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I'm sitting on the bed in my motorhome because I wanted to show you something I have in my bedroom. Here is my television, and right below that is some video components that I have. The one on the bottom is a VCR with a DVD recorder. The next one higher up is a hard disk drive recorder with a DVD recorder. And that's where I record all the television programs that I get over the air. And then I watch them later and if I really like them I can save copies of them onto a DVD. And right above that is a Blu-ray player, the thin one that says Blu-ray 3D. And the one on top is a satellite receiver. Now, whether you have one unit sitting there or four units sitting there, you and I both are going to have the same problem. When you drive off, that video equipment is going to slide off that countertop. This is like a, a chest of drawers. You will have, motorhomes have, will have various types of furniture like that where you would put your video equipment. That's really the only place to put it is on the countertop there in this particular motorhome at least. But it won't take long when you're driving off before those things are going to be falling off. And they could very likely hit the floor, and if that happens, it could damage them. So you can't just simply have them sitting there. You have to have some way of securing them. So I went to Home Depot, and I was looking for some type of clamp. Something can clamp onto here that would stick up like this and keep those things from sliding off. But as I was shopping at Home Depot, I found something even better. And it's called earthquake straps. You see two of them there on the box. And on one of the earth side of the earthquake straps, you have a grommet right there. And then there's a buckle. And then on the other side of the strap is a self-adhesive backing. So the way it works is the part that has the grommet. You have to put a nail or a screw into it and screw it into the wood. And I have mine screwed where the, the grommet is about right here. And then the strap comes up and the self-adhesive backing sticks on top of the equipment here. And that way, no matter how much turning and motion you make in the motorhome while you're driving, this thing is not going to come off. It'll move a little bit left to right, but it's not going to fall off of the countertop. And each one of these pieces of equipment has its own strap. And if you ever need to take the strap off because you want to work on the equipment or something you just unbuckle it like a buckle and then it comes right off so you see the second unit has its own strap the next unit has its own strap and the bottom unit has its own strap So those earthquake straps really solve my problem. I've tested them out a bit and they work really well. And you don't have to try and create your own brace to keep them from falling off. So I thought that would be a good tip to give my viewers. Go to Home Depot or various stores that might have them. And look for something that says earthquake straps. There's various brands and some different styles. 
There's some that don't have the buckle and they're more of a permanent installation. You don't want that. That is usually used for more permanent type furniture in people's homes where if they have an earthquake in their home, it's going to keep the furniture from crashing to the ground like a bookcase or something. So I'm not worried about earthquakes in my motorhome, but the motorhome itself creates fright of an earthquake. So if you have any kind of equipment like that, just sitting on a countertop, you're going to need straps like that. It can also work in the kitchen for appliances that you don't want to have to put away every time you drive off. But if you do drive off with them sitting there, like coffee pods or toasters or a blender or anything like that, you drive off, it's going to go flying onto the floor. So you either put them away in a safe place or you find some way of strapping them down. And these earthquake straps work really well for that. So I hope this has helped you.